We, we are in com communication with the state and federal authority right now, uh, as well as our local Metro Health District. Uh, between uh, the three of us, uh, we will ensure that these folks are not released from quarantine until there's assurances that they pose no risk to the public. If that means it follows the local authority to do that, we will do that. Within hours of saying that, Mayor Ron Nuremberg declaring a public health emergency in San Antonio as a result of what he earlier described as, quote, a screw up by the CDC. A woman was released Saturday from the Center for Infectious Disease after twice testing negative, meeting the CDC criteria. But then a third pending test result came back positive. Metro Health then retraced where she went after being released, including North Star Mall, which is now closed out of what they say is an abundance of caution and for what a spokesperson calls further deep cleaning. Jesse de Goyado says shoppers we spoke with earlier today wouldn't be surprised to hear that. We hope we don't catch it. I got kids. I can't have that. My kids are already wearing masks too. Okay, hand sanitizer. <laughs> okay, nice. Thank you for the heads up. It's scary. It's scary. When you have family, you got to worry about it's going to be very scary, of course. The woman had been released from the Texas Center for Infectious Disease based on two prior negative results 24 hours apart. But by the time the third test result came back positive, a third party driver had already taken her to the Holiday Inn Express near the airport just before 3 p.m. Saturday. Then about two hours later, asked the hotel shuttle to drop her off at North Star Mall. From about 5.30 to 7.30, she visited a few stores before sitting down in the food court to eat by herself. Time and distance are two criteria we use to do the risk assessment. Based on that, Metro Health investigators determined the exposure risk to 16 health professionals at TCID, where she was tested, is low, but two others are at medium risk. At the Holiday Inn Express Airport, three people were deemed to be at low risk. The same for an undetermined amount of people at North Star Mall. So the low risk folks, the guidance at this time is for them to be self-monitoring their symptoms twice daily and let us contact us promptly should they develop symptoms. In a statement, a mall spokesperson says that it's expected the mall will be closed for about 24 hours for that deep cleaning process. Now, she also pointed out that although the risk is considered low to the public, they're still making taking extra precautions for the sake of its shoppers. We're live outside North Star Mall, Jesse de Goyado. KSAT 12 News. Thank you, Jesse. Now, in addition to the mayor's declaration, Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf has also issued a local state of disaster and public health emergency for the county. It prohibits quarantined individuals from entering San Antonio and the 26 other communities within the county. Nationally, more than 100 people across 11 states have been infected, with four more deaths in Seattle, bringing the total deaths in the U.S. to six.